What's up now? This is me, 18 Wheels. Um, right now, I'm like taking a break, man. I've been at home for a few days. Uh, just came back to my little spot to check on my check on my, my trailer and truck. Make sure everything is all right. You know, I'm sitting up here and I'm thinking, you know, the past fucking months that I've been doing this car hauling thing. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. This is some hard motherfucking work, man. This work is not fucking easy. It's not easy. But, you know, I chose to do it because I know, I know in the long run, let me climb up here, I can make pretty decent money doing this. You know, you know, I connect the dots. You know, I can connect them dots. I can make this shit work. I'm just looking and making sure all my straps are intact. Cause I got a, a, a few more days and then I, I'll be back on the road again. But, uh, let me climb up here. This shit. I'm trying to figure out how to climb up top. Okay, I got it. I forgot. I ain't been out the truck long enough to forget. How to climb up and down. Check everything. Make sure all my shit intact. Man, it's some hard fucking work. I ain't gonna lie. This work. Hauling cars. It's not fucking easy, man. It's not easy work. And then the bell ringer to it is that that's my car right there. My little piece of shit. I got a piece of shit car. It make a lot of noise when I drive. But it's cool. It's mine. But anyway, I don't say the hardest part to doing this. These cars is not tearing up nothing. You got to be extremely careful. And then I noticed, like, since the time that I've been actually doing this, I've been delivering local cars, right? People that I deliver their cars, when they, like, buy cars online, and then you got some people that move cars cross country because they might be moving to a new location or something. You know, just moving business moves, various reasons. People got a billion reasons why they move cars. Anyway... I notice everybody wants to be right there when I pull up with the truck. They want to see me unload the car off the truck. They want to see how it's done. I mean, I don't know. I think it's more of a factor that they want to make sure I don't tear up nothing. I think that's a factor too. And then out of curiosity, you know, they probably wondering, well, how the hell do he work those ramps? How do he get them off of there? You know, a lot of people. I have every, everybody. Everybody now. I'm telling you. I done hauled a lot of cars in the, uh, what, about 11 months I've been doing this? No, I've been doing this. No, wait a minute. Yeah, about 11 months. Uh, I think 11 months. Well, anyway, I haven't. Ran into not one person to say, Nah, I don't want to see you take it off. Everybody said, I want to take it. I want to be right there when you look. I, hey, I done had people wait to see me load the car on the trailer. And generally, it take on the average, I mean, just it depends what spot I'm putting it on the trailer. It can take me up to like 45 minutes if I got to break the whole trailer down and then rebuild it back up. And then, especially if I'm loading, holding, loading, loading the car on top, like right up here, this shit, man, I'm telling you, this shit is, is crazy. But I understand people that want to see 
you load their car and unload their cars. I understand that. You know, if you if I was hauling my car cross country, I probably would want to see the car hauler load my car on the, onto the trailer, make sure I can see if he know what he doing. But you know what? A lot of people don't even know what I'm doing. But they just, they just basically watching to see what I do. So I'm just out here looking to make sure all my straps intact. And then when I get ready to take off, I got to do a whole new pre-trip. I got to make sure everything is good. I haven't started. This truck has been shut down for about a week now. So, it's my time. It's time to get back on that road. Make this shit work. You know, spin these tires, man. It's starting to rain right now, but it's all good. <sighs> I still sometimes can't believe I'm hauling cars now. Cause I used to see them when I first started drive. When I first, you know, was learning how to drive trucks, I didn't never think I was gonna be hauling cars. You know, this is where I'm at right now. Ooh, it's starting to rain. All right, I gotta get. I gotta get back in my in my car. What's up, UZ Auto Trans? What's up? Man, I tip my hat off to that dude that started this company, man. I tip my hat off to him. This, you know, I done heard stories. Let me get back in my car. I done heard stories. I done heard stories like, let me turn my glasses off. I done heard stories on how, how this dude actually started the company and, you know, not just him, like multiple, multitudes of people that got trucking companies. Let me wipe this off. Hey, come on. You know, I didn't, I didn't heard stories, you know, the ups and downs and stuff like that. I mean, I guess you do got to love what you do in order to persevere doing it. But, you know, let me turn this around. It is what it is. I done heard stories like different people that own trucking companies, you know, that own businesses, you know, the ups and downs of, of running a business, and, you know, even when the bad times come, like right now, coronavirus, it's kind of tapped everybody's pocket, seriously, but, uh. Oh, well, I just came out here actually just to sit back here and just overlook the truck, make sure everything good, you know, because uh, I'm taking off, and um, I still got more than a few days, but I'll be taking off some, and um, that's it. All right, Joe, it's 18 wheels. I'm finna go in the house. I'm finna enjoy my little stay at home. I had some business business I had to take care of. So I'm still taking care of it. Still got other shit to do, but one thing I am, I'm being patient. I'm being patient right now. So alright, it's 18 wheels. Let me let me uh cut this video off. I'm gonna get with y'all in a minute. Peace.